Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television, GPTV. I'm Brett, and my hands is one of Aftershock Comics' latest releases. It's the man who effed up time, number two. The man who fucked up time. We're just gonna say it. We're gonna be, we're gonna be adult here. It's the man who fucked up time. Or bleeped up time. Whatever. We're gonna have fun with it. Uh, so this is written by John Lehman. Uh, the art is by Carl Mostert, who's also the co-creator with Lehman. D. Cunoff is the colorist, and Lehman is the letterer. Alright, so, how do I describe this series? It is kind of a little bit Back to the Future, a little bit Bill and Ted, a little bit Office Space in some ways as well. So it's about this guy who goes back in time and, of course, fucks it up. Really, the title says it all. I don't know how difficult it is to, to figure out what the series is about. And, of course, when he goes back, he tries to fix it, and things get even worse from there. Um... After being th and he's threatened by like future robot time police telling him to fix things. So it's it's a comedic comic. It's really funny. It's entertaining. Uh, the first two issues I think have been fantastic. Definitely uh, uh, turn your brain off and just enjoy the ride. Uh, what's great is Layman and and Mostert and, and like the, the creative team is really just going out there and throwing everything they can. I mean, with the ability to go shake up time and, and, and make things go crazy, like, you can really have fun. So, you know, well, the first time he comes back, there's, like, dinosaurs walking down the road and people are dressed like Abraham Lincoln and just all kinds of goofy craziness mashed together. Uh, it's, it's what really makes the comic. And so there's small little jokes throughout in the imagery uh, on top of just the, like, what's he going to do next uh, or what's he going to screw up next vibe of it all. Really enjoyable. I mean, I... I I have fun with that sort of storytelling, um, and and this is, it's a funny comic. It really is is enjoyable. Um, so I said, like the the art part of that art is the uh, the enjoyable about it. Like a part of the that's what is good. Um, you can go into a scene like this and try to look at the detail and see everything that's going on and trying to figure out like maybe what he screwed up uh, to get to that point. Uh, and, and, you know, it, it's just, it's a goofy, entertaining, uh, series. You actually don't really need to read the first issue to enjoy the second issue. You can pick up the second issue and just, and roll with that. I actually read the second issue first and went back and read the first. Um, so, I'm telling you from experience, you can, you can rock it. Like, you do not need to read the first issue if you missed it. Um, you should, because it's funny and it's entertaining. Uh, so yeah, I mean, like, I really don't know what else to say about the comic. Like, the art's good, it got me to laugh, uh, you know, it's, it's, pretty self-explanatory. It's exactly what I expected, uh, and it pulls it off really well. So this is out in comic shops now. You can go get it. Uh, we got a link beneath this video. Put in your zip code or tell if a shop's near you. No shop, no problem. We do have affiliate links. There are affiliate links, so we'll get a small percentage of that, but really, you should go support your comic shop. Absolutely go support your comic shop, especially with uh, everything going to crap right now. Um, and speaking of support, I want to thank Aftershock for hooking us up with this review copy. We appreciate it, and thank you for watching. Uh, if you are into comics, if you're into Aftershock, check us out every single day at graphicpolicy.com or on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, all at Graphic Policy uh, there and more. Until next time, keep reading those comics and keep it geeky. Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games, you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.